Yo, what's going on? Kamikai Soundways, and today I'm gonna do a an unboxing and review of the iHip Elite headphones. Now, um, I picked these up for $13.99, and I found them at Walgreens on sale. And yeah, as you can see, I got these for $13.99. They were originally $20. Uh, I guess they were just trying to get rid of stuff in their inventory. But, you know, nonetheless, I thought for hell, for $13.99, even if they're that bad, you know, for $13.99, oh well, whatever. Now, the only reason I did pick these up is because I actually have some Beats headphones, which I love. Uh, the only problem is sometimes when I'm streaming late at night, I forget to plug these up and charge them. And then, if you didn't know, Beats headphones, you have to have a charge in them even to use the cord, which I don't really use the uh, Bluetooth functionality on them too much nowadays. I usually always have them plugged, but sometimes I forget to plug them up and they're dead. And it's really frustrating to have like a, a power plug and a head jack into it. It's like, like my head's on life support. So I decided to pick these up just in case that happens again, where I have to literally wait or have my head plugged up to the machine like I'm, it's keeping me alive. I thought I'd have these on deck just in case I needed to have some headphones to throw in to game while they're charging or just, you know, ready to go if I feel like streaming when I'm ready and I don't have my other headphones ready. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open these things up. Now, I won't lie, I passed these up in Walgreens a couple of times and yeah, they look pretty garbage. But you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. They're just a backup pair of headphones. So it does have this cool little like tab for you to open it up. And I looked at it and I was like, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, they're originally $20. And I was like, you know, $20 headphones can't be that bad. Uh, but then, you know, I guess, like I said, I got them for $13.99. So I was like, you know, it can't be, you know, if, if they're even if they are pretty much garbage is what I'm expecting. You know, you get what you pay for. It is what it is. But you know, for some backup headphones, I don't think it'd be too terrible. The quality when you open it up, I mean, they, they look, you know, they look, Okay, they look presentable, like some knockoff beats or something like that. So let's go ahead and uh, tear into this. It doesn't have any tape or anything on it. it, just has like glue holding the box together. So I'm really just gonna rip this box apart. And you know, if these things are terrible, I'll just give them to one of my kids or something like that. They can use it for whatever they want. So anyway, I'm really just gonna rip the box open and uh, just kind of pull that off and rip it open. So, just gonna rip that open and pull out this plastic sleeve that's inside. And it's kind of like something like what an action figure would come in. And there you go. Um, there it is. So, first thing I'm gonna do is actually pull out the cord because this is like actually what grabbed my attention right away. I'll put those headphones to the side for a second. It's like a flat cable, and uh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think it's gonna break pretty soon, but something that my uh, Beats headphones don't have, which is pretty nice, uh, the microphone that's on it has a little clippy, you know, you can like uh, you know, put on your shirt to have your microphone up here. Usually uh, when I am using my headphones for like my PlayStation 4, it's really hard to hear my voice because it's usually like down here, like I need to like kind of hold it up and talk. So that's kind of nice that it has that. But I will say, I don't think this clip is gonna last very long. It looks like it's gonna break off, but you know, if I just look at it wrong. But it is a flat cable, which is kind of cool. It's like a shoelace. But that's not, that's kind of cool though. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of dig that. Um, pretty decent length. Something like this, if that gives you any kind of judge on the on the length of it. But no, not, not, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, was expecting less, was expecting a, just a, you know, run of the mill aux cable, but hell, I mean, I'm actually really liking this, uh, aux cord with the microphone on it pretty pretty cool i might actually even use these for like my beats headphones if they're compatible which they shouldn't be it is a 3.5 millimeter so it'll work with any standard playstation 4 or ipod or cell phone etc etc so let's go ahead and get to the main event and yeah whoa okay yeah these feel cheap as hell Ooh, yeah, these, ooh, yeah. That's pretty bad. That's pretty terrible. Um, oh, shit. Oh, I thought I just broke it. Maybe I did break it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you literally, it's like, you know, uh, these new headphones have this, like, like, compact thing. I don't know who really uses that. I don't, I mean, I, my, you know, the Beats headphones do that, and 
I, I've never folded them up to transport them or anything like that. So I don't really know who uses that, but you do have that whole snapping thing and it feel to, you know, I don't know who the hell that uses them like this, but it feels every time that I've done it thus far, the two or three times, I feel like I'm about to break it. I feel like I'm about to break it. So let's go ahead and snap these back in place and uh, never do that again. So anyway, um, yeah, first synopsis, they feel cheap. They feel super cheap. They are light, which is kind of good, but yeah, they're super crazy cheap. Now, at the end of the day, that's not really what matters at the end of the day. It really, uh, hopefully just the quality um, sound of them is good, but you know, that's going to be determined on what they sound like. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and plug these up maybe to my iPod and uh, let's just maybe throw on a song and see what they sound like. Now, before I do that, I do want to just want to, all right, let's see, let's see. All right, hold on. First, before we do that, let's just put them on. Yeah, I mean, they, they're kind of nice where I don't really notice that they're there, kind of. That's how light they are compared to my Beats headphones, which are kind of heavy because, you know, they have battery and all kinds of gadgets working in there. So um, comfortability wise, I mean, they're all right. They're not bad. I mean, I guess they're supposed to be sound canceling, but I have them all and I can hear myself just as clear as day. So I don't know how good they'd be they're gonna be at sound canceling. So anyway, let's go ahead and actually plug them up and see what they actually sound like. So 3.5 millimeter jack and there. All right, okay, okay, all right. Plug it up my old school iPod. Gonna go ahead and open it. Now, I just need to find a random song to play. Yo, the bottom line is, I'm a crook with a deal. If my record don't sell, I'm a raw Um, first synopsis, first synopsis, the, comparing them to Beats headphones, which I use all the time, there's no kick, there's no punch, it feels hollow, it feels empty, there's no mm to it. Uh, there's speakers in there, that's about it. There's speakers in there. Uh, super hollow, super empty, um, no bass whatsoever, but that's coming from someone who uses Beats headphones, which its whole emphasis is just that oomph, that bass, you know what I mean? So yeah, so far, not impressed. Uh, let me just pick a different song and see what, uh, see if that maybe changes up anything. Yeah, once again, another song, it's just, it's not knocking. It feels hollow, it feels empty. It feels like, you know, it feel like I'm listening to someone else's headphones. Like I can hear someone else's headphones that are really decent next to me. Like it just, like I can hear it. There's no oomph, there's no punch, there's no nothing to it. It's just, just hollow, empty sound. You can hear it, it's there, it's loud, but there's no feeling it. Um, once again, you know, coming from Beats headphones, these are, these are not the one, man. These are definitely not the one. So this is not my usual setup for my gaming or anything like that. I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. But hey, I'm going to play a quick match and just uh, give you my thoughts on what the game sounds like after using these headphones. It sounds so, it sounds so terrible. It sounds so terrible. You don't feel the punch of the weapon. You don't feel nothing. It just feels empty. It feels weak. It feels like I would rather listen to the actual game audio on my TV. I have turned up the volume in it as max as it goes. Um, it's, it's, I can hear it, it's loud, but once again, it's just no like emphasis on the game. It just feels empty. It feels, it feels hollow. You know, they just, they sound like really cheap headphones. That's about the best way I can put it. They sound like, they sound like cheap headphones. You can hear the right and left, but you know, it's not, it's not like uh, anything crazy or anything like that. I mean, it's typical headphones with just about anything nowadays. You know, you can hear what's left and what's right, but. 
All right, so I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I guess they're not like the worst headphones in the world, but if I was to pay $20 for these, I think I would be upset because uh, they, they're definitely not, to me, worth 20 bucks. I don't know, I haven't bought a pair of $25 headphones in quite some time, but uh, don't know if they're quite worth that. Um, $13.99, I think that was a fair price. And so far, that's about what they're worth. So real quick, I'm gonna do a little test on the microphone here. I'm actually gonna clip it on my shirt because if I do use this aux cord or if I use these headphones, um, that'll be where I have it. So right now I'm just gonna hit the record button and talk into it for a second and just record some footage and listen back to it real quick. This is the test, this is the test, 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 test. All right, so I'm gonna listen back to it real quick to see what it sounds like. I don't care. Okay, so I don't know if it's the headphones, but it sounds very like shh with the background. I don't know if that's the microphone or the headphones. Could be either or. But when it comes to hearing my voice, it sounds pretty precise, pretty clear. I can hear myself. It doesn't sound like it's very far away. It doesn't sound like it's very close. It sounds like about in the medium range. So uh, I will say the microphone right off firsthand seems pretty decent. Seems like a pretty mediocre microphone. Uh, seems like it could be worth something really well for my PlayStation 4 if I want to use for like you know for chatting. I will say that I think this might actually might be better than my Beats headphone because just because it has the clip. All right, so synopsis when it comes to gaming, I got a little bit more custom to them towards the end of the match, but still, um, they're not great. Um, they're 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 very cheap, mediocre headphones, and twenty dollars I think is kind of overpriced for what's there. Uh, but the thirteen ninety nine that I paid for them, I think that's kind of justified to have them as nice backup headphones. Now I will say the pros are that they're super light. They are somewhat comfortable. I really actually dig the aux cord that's on it. I think it's pretty cool, flat little layout thing. It's pretty cool, like the shoestring thing. Um, I know these have been around for a while, but I've never actually had any kind of aux cord or anything like that. But I actually really like it. Uh, the microphone also is pretty cool to be able to be clipped onto your shirt so that you can speak to it. Now the cons are that they don't sound great. They sound very hollow. They sound very empty. Uh, they're loud, but they have no oomph to them. They have no they have no punch to them. They have no just like to make you feel that music. But once again, I'll reiterate, that's coming from someone who uses Beats headphones on the regular, and those headphones are to make you have that oomph and that beat to it. So for going from that to this is slightly disappointing, but you know, for the price that they're paid for, I mean, you kind of get what you pay for. Um, I will say in the future that I do feel that, you know, a lot of times when you put your headphones on, you go like this, for example, you go like this, you know what I mean? And time after time, I feel of doing this, they're eventually going to snap. Everything, especially right here in these joints, is super weak, super just flimsy and cheap. Eventually, they're going to snap. And if you have a big head like I do, I have to literally stretch them out. A lot of times I'm wearing a hat when I put on my headphones. So I usually have to stretch the headphones to get them over my head. And I feel like that's that's the problem, that they're eventually going to snap. So um, and like I said, they're, they just feel like the most flimsiest things and and they feel like they're gonna break at any, at any second. But other than that, man, for what I paid for them, $13.99, I don't have a lot of huge complaints. They're, for me, they're just backup headphones for when I don't charge my beats. Um, and maybe I use them just around the house, et cetera, et cetera, or cutting the grass, um, you know, but other than that for $13.99, they're a decent price. If you can find them on sale for that, if you need a backup pair of headphones and someone like in my situation, eh, you know, it's kind of up to you. Don't really need that. Just don't be an idiot and not <laughs> charge your Beats headphones. Uh, but if you're looking for a decent pair of headphones for in the $20 range, I'd shop around. I'm not a big headphone guy. I bought my Beats headphones. I've been completely content with those ever since I got them. So I can't really, I don't judge a lot of them. But for 20 bucks, I probably would assume you could find better. So anyway, this is Kamikaze Soundwaves. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.